Okay, we're going to look at copying an animation today. So this is the animation we have on lock that I made in the last video where he uh, is going to lunge forward and this method down here is going to trigger the fight animation which eventually brings the uh, weapon into his hand. So what we want is that to be transferable to other characters without having to redo everything every time. So I'm going to go through the process to transfer that to Tina, which is very simple. So on Tina we're going to add that battle animation player. Always goes on the wrong monitor. And this has to be named the same because in the code we referred to this specifically when it's grabbing the node. And then we're going to add the also naming important attack animation. That way when the code refers to the attack animation it's doing so on each character just like here. So one thing I am going to do manually is assign the sprites that it goes through because I just threw the sprites together from what I found online. Like this is the sprite sheet that I'm working with with Tina and it's not exactly the same as locks. So I'm just going to be referring to different numbered frames within that. So let's add that frame track on the sprite 2D, keep the naming consistent. And I've already done this with Tina, so when I add this, uh, Godot's going to remember the frame I had it on. So that's why that's already that way, but I'm just setting the frame up here, of course. And then on 1.1, this one needs to go to frame 20. Didn't preserve the whole thing, evidently. 1.2, we're going to put this to 18. That's that frame. And then over at 1.9 here, scoot over a little bit. This is going to go back to 20 here. And then at 2, we're going to go to frame 19, so like so. Now this is the part right here at 1.9 where she starts running back to the original position. Uh, so you'll notice here I have the facing left sprites, and that sprite sheet didn't appear that I saw to have the sprites facing the other way. So I'm going to add the flip horizontal track as well. Same thing, it's a property on the sprite 2D here. And then we're going to go flip H. And I'm going to put, as always, a keyframe at the start of the animation just to make sure we don't want it there. And then here where she starts running back, we're going to insert that and check this. And you'll notice here, this is actually, now that the flip horizontal is on, that's actually the resting position just facing the other way. So right here we're going to insert another key, 19 again, but we're going to turn the flip horizontal off. And then you see here she's facing back the correct direction. So that's the part we need, uh, need to do manually if your sprite sheets are not the same. A good lesson here if you're really trying to build out your game seriously and you're using sprite sheets you might want to consider doing that if you have characters that are doing uh, similar actions so that you have the same orientation in each position of your sprite sheet for each character then you wouldn't have to redo that part as well so we're going to go back to locks animation now here's the easy part we've got the sprite duty and the weapon origin and this function so we need those tracks so in godot uh we just go here to edit and copy tracks and we need just the ones that we want here. So position and rotation, obviously. And the frame we're going to leave out, that's the one we just uh, rep replicated. And then this is the method call track down here, which is going to you know, call all of the code. Copy those. Go over here and paste tracks. And that should be the, the lot of it. And you'll see here it copies this. This does work out right. It just goes on this character body instead. And since, again, we, all, we have the same named node, so this should work out fine. So if we reset this, we'll play it. Cool. I put the Lightbringer sword on Tina as well in the database, so her right hand equipped like we did in the last tutorial. So now let's just watch both of them attack. There's one, and two. Cool. And then we could also separate the uh, sword if we wanted to put a different weapon on there. As long as we keep all that naming straight, that should do it.